China's electric power industry is the world's largest electricity producer, passing the United States in 2011 after rapid growth since the early 1990s. Most of the electricity in China comes from coal, which accounted for 66% of the electricity generation mix in 2016. Coal-fired electricity production declined from 2013 to 2016 coinciding with a major boom in renewable energy, and a decline in GDP growth. China's coal-powered generating capacity is expected to increase to 1,300 GW by 2020, from 960 GW in 2016, despite official plans to limit that growth to 1,100 GW. China has two wide-area synchronous grids, the State Grid and the China Southern Power Grid. The Northern Power Grids were synchronized in 2005. Since 2011 all Chinese provinces are interconnected. The two grids are joined by HVDC back-to-back -back connections. China has abundant energy with the world's third largest coal reserves and massive hydroelectric resources. There is however a geographical mismatch between the location of the coal fields in the northeast Heilongjiang, Jilin, and Liaoning and north Shaanxi, Shaanxi, and Henan, hydropower in the southwest Sichuan, Yunnan, and Tibet, and the fast-growing industrial load centers of the east Shanghai Zhejiang and south Guangdong, Fujian. History In April 1996, an electric power law was implemented, a major event in China's electric power industry. The law set out to promote the development of the electric power industry, to protect legal rights of investors, managers and consumers, and to regulate generation, distribution and consumption. Before 1994 electricity supply was managed by electric power bureaus of the provincial governments. Now utilities are managed by corporations outside of the government administration structure. To end the state power corporations SPC monopoly of the power industry, China's State Council dismantled the corporation in December 2002 and set up 11 smaller companies. SPC had owned 46% of the country's electrical generation assets and 90% of the electrical supply assets. The smaller companies include two electric power grid operators, five electric power generation companies and four relevant business companies. Each of the five electric power generation companies owns less than 20% 32 gigawatts of electricity generation capacity of China's market share for electric power generation. Ongoing reforms aim to separate power plants from power supply networks, privatize a significant amount of state-owned property, encourage competition, and revamp pricing mechanisms. It is expected that the municipal electric power companies will be divided into electric power generating and electric power supply companies. A policy of competition between the different generators will be implemented in the next years. South China from the Changjiang Valley down to the South China Sea was the first part of the economy to liberalize in the 1980s and 1990s and is home to much of the country's most modern and often foreign invested manufacturing industries. Northern and northeastern China's older industrial base has fallen behind, remains focused on the domestic economy and has suffered relative decline. In recent history, China's power industry is characterized by fast growth and an enormous installed base. In 2014, it had the largest installed electricity generation capacity in the world with 1,505 GW and generated 5,583 TWh China also has the largest thermal power capacity, the largest hydropower capacity, the largest wind power capacity and the largest solar capacity in the world. 
Despite an expected rapid increase in installed capacity scheduled in 2014 for both wind and solar, and expected increase to 60 GW in nuclear by 2020, coal will still account between 65% and 75% of capacity in 2020. In spring 2011, according to The New York Times, shortages of electricity existed, and power outages should be anticipated. The government-regulated price of electricity had not matched rising prices for coal. Topic: <laughs> Production and capacity. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Transmission infrastructure. The central government has made creation of a unified national grid system a top economic priority to improve the efficiency of the whole power system and reduce the risk of localized energy shortages. It will also enable the country to tap the enormous hydro potential from western China to meet booming demand from the eastern coastal provinces. China is planning for smart grid and related advanced metering infrastructure. Ultra-high voltage transmission The main problem in China is the voltage drop when power is sent over very long distances from one region of the country to another. Long-distance inter-regional transmission have been implemented by using ultra-high voltages UHV of 800 kV, based on an extension of technology already in use in other parts of the world. <laughs> <laughs> Sources Coal power China is the largest producer and consumer of coal in the world and is the largest user of coal-derived electricity. However, since 2014 coal as a percentage of the energy mix has fallen, declining from 64% in 2015 to 62% in 2016 according to the National Bureau of Statistics, domestic coal production has declined even further, dropping 9% year-on-year in 2016. Further declines in production were announced in July 2016 when the Commission in Charge of State-Owned Enterprises, SASAC, ordered companies under its supervision to cut coal mining capacity by 10% in two years and by 15% in five years, despite the cuts to coal production and falling percentage of coal in the energy mix, electricity consumption is expected to grow by 3.6 to 4% over 2016. 16 to 2020 according to the 13th plan 2016 to 2020 According to the same 5 year plan coal power capacity will be expanded from 960 gigawatts to under 1100 gigawatts by the end of 2020 to meet some of the continued growth in electricity demand Indeed, in the first two months of 2016, China had added 22 gigawatts of capacity, 14 gigawatts of which was coal, according to the China Electricity Council. To curtail the continued rapid construction of coal-fired power plants, strong action was taken in April of the same year by the National Energy Administration (NEA), which issued a directive curbing construction in many parts of the country. This was followed up in January 2017 when the NEA cancelled a further 103 coal power plants, eliminating 120 gigawatts of future coal-fired capacity, despite the resistance of local authorities mindful of the need to create jobs. The decreasing rate of construction is due to the realization that too many power plants had been built and some existing plants were being used far below capacity. Hydropower 
Hydroelectricity is currently China's largest renewable energy source and the second overall after coal. China's installed hydro capacity in 2015 was 319 gigawatts, up from 172 gigawatts in 2009, including 23 gigawatts of pumped storage hydroelectricity capacity. In 2015, hydropower generated 1,126 terawatt-hours of power, accounting for roughly 20% of China's total electricity generation, due to China's insufficient reserves of fossil fuels and the government's preference for energy independence, hydropower plays a big part in the energy policy of the country. China's potential hydropower capacity is estimated at up to 600 gigawatts, but currently the technically exploitable and economically feasible capacity is around 500 gigawatts. There is therefore considerable potential for further hydro development. The country has set a 350 gigawatts capacity target for 2020. Hydroelectric plants in China have a relatively low productivity, with an average capacity factor of 31%, a possible consequence of rushed construction and the seasonal variability of rainfall. Moreover, a significant amount of energy is lost due to the need for long transmission lines to connect the remote plants to where demand is most concentrated. Although hydroelectricity represents the largest renewable and low greenhouse gas emissions energy source in the country, the social and environmental impact of dam construction in China has been large, with millions of people forced to relocate and large scale damage to the environment. Topic. Wind power With its large land mass and long coastline, China has exceptional wind resources. It is estimated China has about 2,380 gigawatts of exploitable capacity on land and 200 gigawatts on the sea. At the end of 2014, there was 114 gigawatts of electricity generating capacity installed in China, more than the total nameplate capacity of China's nuclear power stations. Although capacity of wind power is not on par with capacity of nuclear power, and over the year 115,000 gigawatt hours of wind electricity had been provided to the grid. In 2011, China's plan was to have 100 gigawatts GW of on-grid wind power generating capacity by the end of 2015 and to generate 190 billion kilowatt hours KWH of wind power annually. China has identified wind power as a key growth component of the country's economy. Researchers from Harvard and Tsinghua University have found that China could meet all of their electricity demands from wind power through 2030. <inaudible> <inaudible> nuclear power In terms of nuclear power generation, China will advance from the moderate development strategy to accelerating development strategy. Nuclear power will play an even more important role in China's future power development. Especially in the developed coastal areas with heavy power load, nuclear power will become the backbone of the power structure there. China has planned to build up another 30 sets of nuclear power generator within 15 years with total installed capacity of 80 GWs by 2020, accounting for about 4% of China's total installed capacity of the electric power industry. This percentage is expected to double every 10 years for several decades out. Plans are for 200 GWs installed by 2030 which will include a large shift to fast breeder reactor and 1500 GWs by the end of this century. <laughs> Solar power China is the world's largest market for both photovoltaics and solar thermal energy. Since 2013 China has been the world's leading installer of solar photovoltaics. 
Solar PV in China is a growing industry with over 400 companies. In 2015, China became the world's largest producer of photovoltaic power, narrowly surpassing Germany. By the end of 2016, total PV capacity had increased to over 77.4 GW, and in 2017 China was the first country to pass 100 GW of cumulative installed PV capacity. The contribution to the total electric energy production remains modest as the average capacity factor of solar power plants is relatively low at 17% on average. Of the 6,412 terawatt-hours electricity produced in China in 2017, 118.2 terawatt-hours was generated by solar power, equivalent to 1.84% of total electricity production. Solar water heating is also extensively implemented, with a total installed capacity of 290 GWth at the end of 2014, representing about 70% of world's total installed solar thermal capacity. The goal for 2050 is to reach 1,300 gigawatts of solar capacity. If this goal is to be reached it would be the biggest contributor to Chinese electricity demand. <laughs> Natural gas Biomass and waste Companies In terms of the investment amount of China's listed power companies, the top three regions are Guangdong Province, Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region and Shanghai, whose investment ratios are 15.33%, 13.84% and 10.53% respectively, followed by Sichuan and Beijing. China's listed power companies invest mostly in thermal power, hydropower and thermoelectricity, with their investments reaching 216.38 billion Chinese yuan, 97.73 billion Chinese yuan and 48.58 billion Chinese yuan respectively in 2007. Investment in gas exploration and coal mining follow as the next prevalent investment occurrences. Major players in China's electric power industry include The five majors, and their listed subsidiaries The five majors are all SOs directly administered by SASAC. Their listed subsidiaries are substantially independent, hence counted as IPPs, and are major power providers in their own right. Typically each of the big five has about 10% of national installed capacity, and their listed subsidiary an extra 4 or 5% on top of that. China Dating Corporation Parent of Dating International Power Generation Company SEHK, 991, SSE, 601991, China Godian Corporation. Godian. Parent of GD Power Development Company SSE, 600795, China Wadian Group Parent of Wadian Power International Co., Ltd. China Wanning Group Parent of Wanning Power International NYSE, HNP, China Power Investment Corporation CPI, Parent of China Power International Development Ltd. CPID. 2380 HK Additionally two other SOs also have listed IPP subsidiaries The coal mine owning Shenhua Group parent of China Shenhua Energy Company SEHK 1088 SSE 601088 China Resources Group Wurun Parent of China Resources Power Holdings Company Limited CRP SEHK, 836 secondary companies Shenzhen Energy Co., Ltd. 
Guangdong Yudian Group Co., Ltd. Anhui Province Energy Group Co., Ltd. Hebei Jianto Energy Investment Co., Ltd. Guangdong Baolahua New Energy Stock Co., Ltd. Shandong Lunang Taishan Cable Co., Ltd. Guangzhou Development Industry Holdings Co., Ltd. Chongqing Julong Electric Power Co., Ltd. Chongqing Fulling Electric Power Industrial Co., Ltd. Shenergy Company SSE, 600,642, Shanghai Shenergy Group, Shanghai Sichuan Shuanto Energy Stock Co., Ltd. Naito Securities Co., Ltd. Panjong Coal and Electric Power Group Hunan Huayin Electric Power Co., Ltd. Shaanxi Top Energy Co., Ltd. Inner Mongolia Mengdi and Wanning Thermal Power Co., Ltd. SDIC Wajing Power Holdings Co., Ltd. Sichuan Minjiang Hydropower Co., Ltd. Yunnan Wenshan Electric Power Co., Ltd. Guangxi Gaidong Electric Power Co., Ltd. Sichuan Xichang Electric Power Co., Ltd. Sichuan Mingxing Electric Power Co., Ltd. Sichuan Guangan Triple A Public Co., Ltd. Sichuan Lishan Electric Power Co., Ltd. Fujian Mingdong Electric Power Co., Ltd. Guzhou Qianyuan Power Co., Ltd. Nuclear and Hydro China Three Gorgas Corporation China Guangdong Nuclear Power Group China Yangtze Power listed Sino Hydro Corporation and Engineering Company Guangdong Meiyan Hydropower Co., Ltd. Grid operators include State Grid Corporation of China China Southern Power Grid Wenzhou CHINT Group Corporation, Zhengtai <laughs>